morning world. Welcome to Saturday, 4th of September. It was supposed to rain yesterday, or today. I didn't want the rain, but the oilseed rapeseed did. Every ying has a yang. Although I've got plenty of other things I need to get done, some of them including two working quotes and stuff like that, the problem is there's only one of me and I have to sometimes pick and choose between the jobs I want to do and the jobs I have to do. And one of the jobs I really, really need to get started is getting that pipe in the ground. And I can't do that unless I make a hole in it. Job one. Get on the deuce and make a hole. No, you don't need to see that. There we go. So I fueled this thing up yesterday, greased it all round. So apart from changing the bucket over, I'm going to put the 12 inch tooth bucket on because that worked quite well down through there, and I'm putting a 5 inch and a 6 inch pipe down the hole. 12 inch bucket kind of fits, the 9 inch ain't going to be big enough. So, right, we'll change the buckets over and we'll make a start. It's going to be a bit of a tight fit down through, but I reckon you go. So first job this morning, which is going to let him warm up it, is I've decided I was going to start from the bottom and work my way back up, because that way if it rains, at least the trench keeps drained out, but we're not, we're not forecast any rain for, for the week. So I think I'm going to start at the top, so I can get the level for my gully in where I want it, and then work my way down. That's what we're going to do. So the cattle are already out. Um, I shut them out in the golf course first thing this morning, then I opened the bottom gate between the golf course and the bottom right-hand ground. Not the very best grass out there, but there's quite a lot of it. That should keep them going for a week, I reckon. Um, and I'm quite open that in a week, I've finished digging out 140 metres, filling 140 metres of pipe, and backfilling 140 metres. At least I really hope so. Right, okay, so I'm just doing my prep. Um, I've got enough fall on that pipe. I was thinking I might have to go through the land drain below. I might have to do something with this, but there is still enough fall on that pipe. Happy with that. Um, I looked at the concrete gullies. To put a concrete gully here is like 500 pounds and I, I don't have that, so I think if I can put this gully in here, not that way, yeah, that, no, yeah, that way, like that, and on down, because he's going to be <clears throat> right in the middle of the gateway, pretty much anything heavy is going to go either side of it. Um, this will be left open for a bit because we've got to put uh, one, two, three more concrete um, pads in for the barns. So we're going to be having some more concrete. So I think what we'll do, we'll order an extra meter. And then once this is all set up and done, I can actually put concrete around this fella. Um, I'll probably backfill him up to about here and then concrete around the top or put a base, you know, a solid base underneath him. But so if I want to join onto these later on, I can. Or if I can find some offcuts of pipe, maybe I'll just shoot them out and they can go outside the concrete. Don't think I'm going to be joining onto here in the future, but you just never know, do you? You might as well future-proof it as much as you can. So 
Um, I've just got to dig out new now so I can maintain my four, get this fella in level, which he's nowhere near for a minute. Um, and then once that's set, and I can maintain my fall through the gully, we'll then start digging our trench on down that way. This is going to be a bit of fiddle-faffing around, so there's no point in me recording me fiddle-faffing around with this. We'll come back when I've got it where I want it, and I'm happy. All right? Sort it. Or I could just time-lapse it. Don't have to use the footage, do I? Well, that wasn't worth the effort, was it? So, because it kind of went straight in there. A couple of little scoops out with a spade. I haven't got an exact right, correct line going that, so I'm going to have to get a bend, which I can't get today unless I've got a screw fix. But speaking of that, I might have to go to screw fix anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Shall we dig? I was always inclined to make history, but I never really had the time. Spent my life living dangerously, never worried how I'm getting by. I'm out here working, trying to do what I can. I'm out here sweating, dripping blood from my hands. Doing what I'm good at. Just doing Water pipes aren't the only thing that go underground here. Um, there is an electric fence hookup from that post there, where you can see he goes underground through a piece of water pipe, and he comes up on that post over there, goes underground. I know it's there, I've remembered it's there. And that mark there is kind of in line. So I want to get over that without breaking it, preferably. So, a little bit of spade work. That's where I thought it was. Makes sense, straight line, from there to there. I hope we put it in, in a straight line. It was a few years ago. where I bite the bullet and I'm just going to very very carefully especially because I've got a tooth bucket on just take that down very very gently once I'm past that there's nothing else apart from one maybe two land drains which we could cross I could repair them easy but this is electrical it's not an easy fix
Right, well, the only thing I can think of is that maybe that cable didn't go across. Maybe it's gone across the gateway and I'm actually already over the top of it. I think, I think I'm past where it should be. I'll still carry on taking it gently for the next five meters or so, just for the safe side. But right, I've got no laser level, nothing to give me guides. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting these pipes down as I go and just put the spirit level on and try and make sure that I'm going downhill. That's going the wrong way. A bit more out of there. The very, very next bucket full out. I found it. It wasn't it weren't as deep as I thought it was. <sighs> right, well, it's broken now. I'll have to do a repair later on. Bottoms. Right. There's no way I'm going to repair that cable. I'm going to have to put the pipe back in. Or I could probably put a joiner on there actually. And then I'm just going to have to push a new piece of wire all the way through. Okay, all right. Well, it looks like it's got a fall on it. But one way to tell for sure. Some persuasion may be required. We'll try gentle persuasion first. Can't tell if that's moving or not. Definitely not. Seal out. Let's try that again. I don't want to go in. Put a bit of spit on it. No, I'm not being vulgar. That's all I've got. I'm basically trying to get away of not putting a bend in this. <coughs> it's not sewage, it's just rainwater. So if I can get it in here, I might have to just lift this out uh, and uh, bridge it across there and put this pipe in on top and then put it back in a hole. I think that's the only way I can do this.
That's it. He's in there. Now I've got to get it back down without <laughs> it coming apart again. I reckon I'll get away with that. Okay, spirit level. Plenty of fall on there. And plenty of fall on there too. If anything, too much, I don't want to go any deeper than that. Right, if I follow the if I follow that level all the way down now, um, I need to be deep-ish here because we've got to go over a ridge down there where the ground level drops probably nearly a foot. Um, and when I get to the bottom of that area, the ditch is only about two foot deep. So there's only six inches or so to play with. Fingers crossed to get this right. I'm no expert. That's that one. Right, and then the six inch perforated pipe to go alongside it. Along with, possibly, because I bought it, maybe even a water pipe as well. Trench is dug. Put the pipe in. If I don't ever use it, I've lost 80 quid, but I know it's there for future use. Do I cut the end off that pipe and turn him round? Because really and truly the water flow needs to go the other way. Or, because it is just water, do I not bother? I've got time to think about that. Okay, time for another bit of pipe. I'm not sure if there's a slight hump there, but we'll put the pipe in and just see where the spirit, what the spirit level tells us. Persuader with me. This should go on better than the last time, I'm hoping. Double check. Are you in there? I'm not 100% convinced. You know what, there was a bit of movement this end. I'm gonna put that bit of concrete back going there. Stop that. That'll cure you. I'm a bit more convinced now. Okay, right, we start the track. So the intention is to put this solid pipe down on the left-hand side of the trenches we're looking, 
and then the perforate pipe's going to go on the right hand side of the trenches we're looking because if I want to join any land drains into this later on, the herring bone off of it, that's uphill. It would be a bit stupid to put the perforated pipe on the downhill side because it would make connecting into it well impossible. Right, 11 o'clock, I'm going for a cup of coffee and put my shorts on. Thank you, Mike. Mike messaged me the other day to say he was going to send me a couple of pen knives because he didn't, didn't like me using my expensive sandvik cutting dirty old pipes. So he sent me a couple of, well, I'm not say cheapy throwaway ones, but you know, knives that can go in other vehicles and trucks on the farm. So I haven't got to use my expensive one all the time. Although it's kind of my go-to tool. So thank you. I'm going to put one of these in the digger now and maybe one of the Mustang, although the Mustang's got one. I've got one in my car, I've got one already in my Land Rover, I'll carry this one, digger, so I've got a spare. Yeah. Plenty of fall. Oh. Plenty of fall. Okay. We are getting somewhere, slowly, but we'll definitely get at least half of it done today. So this pipe's going to be reasonably easy. That black coiled stuff, might have a fight with that. Those of you that have had a scrap with this stuff, what do I word? How hard this is. Right. Yeah, I think I'll leave that. Like that for a minute. So while I was excavating this trench, it's not so deep here, but it does go down a bit deeper further down. I have come across, just scratched across the top of two old land drains. Where is it? So, literally, there is one there. You can see the line of the orange clay pipe. He is still weeping, so we're still running him. Another one further down there. So, I have broke through the pipe, because I broke the pipe anyway. But this will be one of those spots where we'll be putting some gravel in here from here down well a few meters anyway. So for the time being I might have to use whatever I can find. Um, and then I'm gonna have to see what the cost is of getting some clean gravel to go in here. I think the last price I had was about £25 a ton, and it's not worth buying less than 20 ton. 20 ton won't go very far, I promise you. Um, so it's 500 quid just for the gravel to go back in in there. But it is, the trench is open. It's not worth, it's not worth doing half a job. So, um, it's again, we knew we were going to have to do some drainage on the sheds and we've kind of decided to go this way. So this black pipe is future proofing stuff that I can connect more stuff into it, or I can connect that pipe even into that drain gully up there. If I wanted to, I could, you know, share the load. Um, but this brown pipe, the sewage pipe, is going to be the main main way of getting rid of the surface water off of half of that roof, only half. Um, the other half is going to go down another drain that's already existing, which actually goes down the field there and right out for the bottom for the sheep and actually turns right and goes down for the cattle so yeah sharing the load but like I say I've added a bit of extra capacity here I want to do 12 inch to halfway but by the time I costed it up no I'm better off putting two six inches in for the time being I think so right let's wrestle with the rest of this then
I'll tidy that up in there before I put anything else in there. I did actually buy 150 meters of 20mm uh, blue water pipe as well because I'm thinking about maybe connecting into the rainwater supply over there because I've got mains water over there. You know about that pipe because I hit it a while ago and had to repair it. So I've got mains water over there anyway. But if I connect this up to, um, I can take that one connector I put in, in there out earlier, change it over for a T and actually put um, rainwater or water I'm catching off the tanks down here as well. So, which means I can put a tank out into the golf course. Um, it's got to be worth doing. Trench is open. I can put it in there easy. I can put the blue pipe between these two. It'll be perfectly safe in there. Less likely to get crushed as well. Uh, yeah. Before I fill this in, blue pipe as well. I'll dig some more out first though. There's a land drain in there somewhere. I just don't know where. There somewhere. Now I knew that drain wasn't very deep. Um, the reason it's not very deep is because I dug it in there by hand. Um, this is in the days before we had that or anything like that. And I basically dug a trench by hand from that corner over there to just, well, over there. Um, and I wasn't feeling digging it this deep. So, but I gotta say in looking at pipe I don't think the drain's been terribly active to be honest so don't know if that's going anywhere but again I think maybe um, maybe we'll try and connect it back up I'll clean it out I'll pull that back and I'll clean him out and see if we can connect him back up together again but I think a lot of anything running down there now is going to end up seeping down and being picked up by that six inch so around here will be another spot to put in some stone. Speaking of stone, there is a seam of rock that goes through up there, but this was also, um, when my dad bought the farm, he said to me, he said, oh, there used to be a dew pond in the middle of the field. In fact, if you look at the ancient old maps of the farm, out in the middle of this field called the Avenue, there's actually the outline of the dew pond out here. Um, dad, in his wisdom, filled it in. This is before I was born, um, years and years and years ago. So I don't know what you filled it in with. I did catch a whiff of something organic earlier. I don't know what it was. I can't see anything. There's a lot of black staining and stuff in there. So obviously, and I found bits of old wooden posts and um, any other treasures in here. Not a lot. I think a lot of this came from like really dug out ditches, but that came out of there. So that's probably a bit of old gate post. I expect so no wire I'm thankful to say but pretty much from about where I was stood here down in this hollow I think is where the pond was and I'm kind of re-excavating some of the stuff that my dad put in there years ago a lot of it's gonna go back in there I hope because I've got to find a place for all these old stones right okay well to the best of my knowledge, that's the only pipe I was likely to hit, and I hit it, um, down. So from here on down now, um, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't come into contact with any other services at all. Unless there's something Dad didn't tell me. Right, well, 
I planned to get it at least as far as the footpath today and I reckon I'm going to do that. So probably going to stop at the footpath tonight um, with time getting on because um, I need to put the pipe in and cover the footpath back over as quickly as possible because obviously health and safety and occupiers liability if somebody falls in the hole they'll sue me and all that great stuff. Um, so yeah tonight I think the machine will be left at the mouth of the hole so anybody happens to walk up here at night they should see this and then I'll go why is there a machine in the middle of the field and hopefully they'll go maybe there's a hole I'll look where I'm going okay right I'm not going to get a nice flat bottom on there because that is all up and down like a like a well you know what it's like Deep fall there, but it's still a fall. I think it's with the as long as it's going downhill. There's quite a quite a high fall. I mean, the, the bubbles well, well past halfway over the line, so it's going to push. As long as I keep it going downhill, it'll go away. That lump out of there, that lump, lump, lump out of there, straighten this up. I think we're done for the I'll add enough. Alright, I didn't finish at 5 o'clock. We decided to put the water pipe in as well. So now we've got two drains and water. I can actually start back filling some of this now. There isn't actually any really wet areas on this side, not until we get other side of the path that it really gets wet so we'll just put a few bits of stone I'll probably scratch up a couple of shovelfuls um, or skids to bucketfuls of stone to go in a few places up here where I think it could uh, perhaps catch a bit more so like where that pipe is just down here but do I want to push this in tonight no I don't know no I don't no I've had enough I really have now I've had enough <laughs> 